Hey everyone, so we're back here in Germany after a pretty successful Rally Poland uh, to, to come out and, and back up our result in Sardinia and, and to prove to people that it wasn't a fluke uh, is quite pleasing, uh, but also in two completely contrasting events. You've got Sardinia, that's one of the slowest gravel rallies of the year, and then Poland uh, was one of the fastest of the year. And you know, historically we've always really enjoyed the, the fast rallies. Struggled a little bit for this one uh, with the confidence with the car and things not quite gelling like they did in Sardinia, but still uh, the, the speed was good. We were amongst the top five on most of the stage times and then the finish fourth in the end and, and the leading uh, Hyundai uh, was a very productive weekend and a good way to back up Sardinia as I say, but still plenty of things to work on, uh, mainly with my driving and, and the way that we uh, implement it with the, with the car setup. Uh, but these are some ideas and some data from the rally in the weekend that we're going to work on now for Finland and uh, we're going to keep aiming higher uh, but at the same time stay realistic the goal for Finland is to still try and be in the top five which at this level is no easy feat but for sure the team are doing a great job and it's uh, a great environment to be part of and we're continuing to make progress. So we've got a couple of questions here. Uh, Bark Wilk asks uh, did you have a chance to see a bit of the country and enjoy the food? Uh, to be honest, we uh, arrive into the rally the Monday beforehand, we're straight into reconnaissance, two or three days of this, straight into the rally and the media commitments and then we fly out again on the Sunday night. So uh, you're so focused on the job that you've got to do that sometimes you forget you're in a different country. So uh, we probably don't get to enjoy the, the sights and scenes as much as we could, uh, but I'm sure uh, one day we can do more of that. Mark Brent asks, uh, who is the craziest driver on the circuit? Uh, well, I think after the weekend and some of the footage that was coming through from Poland, uh, I think Oik Tanik is right up there at the moment with uh, the way he was jumping and, uh, and throwing the car sideways. Uh, but everyone's got their, their strengths and weaknesses uh, and uh, every driver has their own sort of personality as well. Peter O'Carroll, what is the most challenging part of Rally Poland and how will your car set up change to combat this? Uh, well, I guess uh, the most challenging for Poland was, was the speed. Uh, the stage was the fastest we've seen in the World Championship and they were also 90% new so we hadn't done them before so the biggest challenge is when you're doing the reconnaissance and writing your pace notes at 60, 70 k's an hour you're trying to visualise what you're going to be doing when you get to that same part in the rally uh, at th two or three times the speed so this is the biggest part and, and uh, most of us struggled a lot with this in Poland uh, and it, but in saying that now we're going to Finland which is similar so we can use some of the lessons that we uh, learned from Poland uh, with the recce and the pace notes and, and put them into practice for Finland so so that's all the questions. Uh, we're on the way back to New Zealand now. We've got the, the speed show next weekend in Auckland that we're part of the Hyundai there and we've got a few uh, little things going on there. So come along, say hello and, uh, and have a yarn and we'll see you there.